So you got your Galaxy Note 8, and uh, Samsung was doing promotional deals that you could get the Gear 360 with the Galaxy Note 8, but you want to know how it worked. Let me go down and do an unboxing of the Gear 360, kind of go over it a little bit. Also, let me do some uh, video and still footage uh, for you guys so you can see how this Gear 360 works. What's up, YouTubers? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. I am out in the park, guys. Kind of show you guys that I'm in my favorite park. Kind of go around there, let y'all guys see this. So today, guys, I'm going to do an unboxing and I'll show you guys how the Gear 360 works right here on this YouTube channel. So get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up, guys? This is Eric again with another video. So the Gear 360 uh, is a 360 camera uh, that's that's awesome, just awesome. Uh, if you never use the Gear 360, let's go to the go over it and see what we get in the box. So after we uh, take the box off, nice good presentation here, um, and you got the the Gear 360 here, uh, right here. All right, we can go over it in a second pretty uh, also in the box it comes with uh, safety guide warranty stuff uh, you get a USB type C cord uh, and some old books and stuff also you get a little lanyard which is nice uh, and you get a little carrying case uh, let me kind of show you guys this carrying case here go over this which is nice because uh, if you want to put your 360 in something uh, there it is got a little pouch Pretty nice to put your Gear 360 in. All right, so let's go ahead and go over the device. Uh, let y'all guys see exactly all how it works. All right, so you got the Gear 360. Now, if you have a uh, a stand or a tripod or something, right here at the bottom, it works good for that. All right, if you want to put this on a tripod. Now, you got the 360 cameras, right, which is nice. All right, uh, on the side here, you got your menu button, your back button, also power. Also, with the menu button, you can press and hold this to sync this up via Bluetooth. All right. Uh, right here at the front, you got your display. It tells you uh, how much memory you have left because you can use this standalone. Also, you can use this with your phone. Right. And you got your button here to take pictures and record. All right. Here on the side, uh, this is where you put your memory card in. Right now, I got about a 16 gig memory card in here. All right. Uh, right here at the bottom, you do have your charging port, USB Type-C, and there it is. All right, so I got my Note 8, all right, and I'm going to let y'all guys see how this works. All right, so when you boot this up, you do get your menu here, uh, and I do have a memory card in. Uh, so right now, I got an hour and 34 minutes. I got a 16-gig memory card in here, all right, and you see the green lights. Good to go. Green lights. All right. So right now I can use this as a standalone. Once I use this as a standalone, I can take the memory card out, put it in the computer and uh, download all my footage. All right. Or you can sync it up with your device. So let me go down and get my device rolling here so I can show you all guys this. All right. So once you sync this up via Bluetooth, uh, you can see that uh, I have the Gear 360. All right. So let me go to sync this up real quick. All right, so I got the Gear 360 synced already and I opened up the Gear 360 app, all right? So there it is, you got the Galaxy Note 8, you got the Gear 360 app open, there it is. And uh, when you look at the app, it tells you how much battery life you have left on your Gear 360, all right? And it is synced to my phone, all right? And uh, so let's go ahead and, and look at this. I'm gonna go to the camera and you can also Go to your gallery, your 360 gallery. Also, you could do a live broadcast. All right, I hit it by accident. All right, so your settings, you got sound, LED, uh, you got uh, auto power, you got your battery status, you have uh, storage, all right, which I got a 16 gig card in here. You can reset format, you got your firmware, camera settings, gallery settings, uh, and about uh, 360. So let's go into camera settings, all right? Camera settings. Is right now it's at 2560 by 1280 at 30 frames per second. All right, and you can 
go up and down as you please. I could do 2560 by 1280. I could do 2880 by 1440. I could do 4096 by 2048. All right. There it is for the dual lens. All right. For the single lens, because again, we got dual lens on this thing. All right. All right. So at the single lens, you could do 1920 by 1080. All right. You could do 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second. All right. See that? All right. So that's the camera settings. And again, you got your storage. Boom. There it is. And you got the gallery settings. And you got the tilt correction and all that good stuff. You can put that on. What this does is automatically correct pictures and video that appears tilted. Turn that on. All right. All right. There it is. So there it is. All right, guys. So let me go ahead on to show you guys the camera. Let's go to live feed there. All right. So right now, you guys get to see me. Booyah. All right. Turn it around. You get to see the park. Yes, I'm filming with two cameras. As you can see, I got two cameras set up. That's how I roll, two cameras. I want y'all guys to see that, look at that. Now, at this point, I can hit a record, all right? And I can use my phone as a viewfinder, or I can use this as standalone, all right? I mean, the thing is awesome, just awesome. All right, so while we in this, let me show you guys some settings, all right? So right now I'm in do camera mode, and I could do front facing camera only. All right, so I'm doing front facing camera only, as you can see. All right, and then I could do rear camera. There it is. So as you can see, I could do rear camera, front camera, do camera. All right, and let's go ahead and then go back to, I'm gonna stay on rear camera, let's go to mode. All right, so here's a mode here. You could do video, photo, time lapse, video looping, and HDR landscape. All right, so that's your info there. All right, now look at that. All right, here at the top, you do have some settings. All right, plus or minus for your brightness. All right, and then you do have some other settings there that you could control some stuff with your lighting. Right now I got HDR on, I can put HDR on. And again, you go to your settings, boom, nice and easy. Pretty good quality here, all right? So let's go ahead and walk around. Let me go show you guys some footage here with the Gear 360 right now. All right, so this is the front facing camera uh, of the uh, Gear 360. Guys, show you around here. This is the front facing camera. All right, check out the quality. Check out the quality there. Now, I kind of got it a little extended out a little bit. I don't know how the audio is, but uh, I'm kind of holding it in my hand, not using the tripod. And I'm walking around, kind of get it a little bit. Look at that. Let's look at the sky. Let's look at the quality of it. Not bad. Not bad at all. And uh, again, I'm walking and it uh, looks pretty decent as far as the stabilization. All right, so let's go to go to the rear camera and see how it look. All right, guys, so this is the rear camera of the Gear 360, and I'm walking, and uh, as you can see, that uh, it looks pretty good here. Nice, this is very nice. Kind of extended my hand out a little bit. Look at that, Dad, look at that tree. These cameras are pretty good. You be the judge for yourself when you're looking at these cameras. Let me know how the audio is as we go around here. Yes, turn it around a little bit. Yes, gear 360 on deck. All right. Nice. All right, guys, so that is the Gear 360. Uh, it's a pretty nice device. Uh, if you got a tripod, as you can see, I'm using two cameras today. Uh, and that It works very good. The quality looks pretty good so far, but you be the judge for yourself as far as the quality. You got a lot of adjustments here. You got a lot of settings that you could go all the way up to 4K resolution, which is awesome, just awesome. You can also do 60 frames per second, which is great. 
Uh, so I am going to use this. I like this. It's pretty good. And uh, yeah, this is nice. Uh, looking at the viewfinder uh, on my Galaxy Note 8. Uh, looks pretty good here. And I know I got it in portrait mode. And let's see on the on his this here if I can go to uh, landscape. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you can see this in landscape. Booyah. Look at that. That is nice. All right, so this is the Gear 360 right here on the Galaxy Note 8. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your questions down below. Let me know what you think about the Gear 360 in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.